14 of the fantasy basketball season and a crucial week here with only three weeks left to the fantasy playoffs and here's a few centers you could pick up on the waiver wire and they can maybe help you catapult to the playoffs the first guys Nerlens Noel of the New York Knicks and Noel it's been a weird season here Mitchell Robinson out once again with a broken foot and he most likely will be out for the season so Noel he'll be a hot pickup once again we saw Robinson he was out for a long time with a broken wrist and now he breaks the foot, so he's pretty fragile. And the Knicks here, they were interested in Andre Drummond, but obviously he went to the Los Angeles Lakers. So Nerlens Noel, he's going to step in and play a major role once again for this Knicks team. And he's already been owned in 9% of fantasy leagues. It's gone up. And he's still out there, though, in 45% of fantasy leagues. And on the season, he's ranked 104 with 4.9 points a game, 6.1 rebounds. Two blocks a game, 65% from the foul line, and a great 61% from the field in the last couple weeks for Noel. 5.5 points a game, 6.8 rebounds, 1.2 assists, 1.3 steals a game, two blocks a game, 68% from the field, and 60% from the line. So Nerlens Noel, he's going to have to step up for this team. And the only centers they really have is Noel and Taj Gibson. So right now, I think Nerlens Noel, he's a perfect guy. That you could get off the waiver wire. And you know what you're going to get from him. You're not going to get good scoring. But you're going to get good field goal, goal percentage. On the limited shots he takes. He's a good shot blocker. He'll get two or three blocks a game. In a big role. And he's going to rebound. And he's going to get major playing time. Because obviously the Knicks. They don't have another good center right now. With Robinson out in the last couple games for Noel. March 23rd versus Washington. Six points. Five rebounds. Three assists. A steal. Two blocks. March 27th at the Bucks, 6 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, and 3 blocks. So lines like the one he had versus Milwaukee a few nights ago is something you could probably expect from him. And I think Noel, he's a decent ad. And if you need blocks and efficiency, he's a good guy to get at center. The second guy is Kyeen Burke of the Orlando Magic. So the Magic, a lot of moving pieces. And a lot of waiver wire ads as well this week for Magic Ball players. And Birch, he's already went up 6% in the last few days of his fantasy ownage. But he's still available in 78% of fantasy leagues. On the season, he's ranked 265 with 5.5 points a game, 5.3 rebounds, 1.1 assists, 74% from the foul line, and 45% from the field in the last couple weeks, though, Burke. He's going to play more now, but he's still similar stats. 5.4 points, 5.1 rebounds, 1.6 assists, 1.1 steals, 39% from the field, and 75% from the foul line. So, Birch, he's been playing since all the trades the Magic have done with Gordon, Fournier, and Vukovic leaving town. He's playing about 25 to 35 minutes a game. March 26 versus Portland, 14 points, 15 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 steals, and two blocks, so that's an impressive line. But last night versus the Lakers, it was a down game. But he did play 26 minutes, two points, five rebounds, three assists, and a steal. So I think he'll bounce back from that performance. And like I've been saying, this Magic team, they sold everyone off except Terrence Ross. And now it's all about the young guys and seeing who they could use for next season. Because obviously the Magic are at it. And they sold their best three players off. And Burke, he's going to get a look from the Magic coaching staff to see what he could do. And I think he'll be pretty valuable for fantasy owners. The next center is Kelly Olynyk of the Houston Rockets. So Kelly Olynyk, he's been another guy this season. One week he's great. The next, you don't know if you're going to drop him or not. But Olynyk now going to Houston. And Houston, it's been a horrible season, obviously. Losing 22 out of the last 24 games for him. And in the last season and a half year, they've traded Russell Westbrook. They traded James Harden, P.J. Tucker, Robert Covington, then Victor Oladipo. They trade him now and get Kelly Olynyk and Avery Bradley. So a lot of moving pieces and a huge rebuild here for the Rockets. And Kelly Olynyk, he's a veteran. So I thought the Rockets would maybe buy him out, but there's been no word of that happening. So Olynyk, he's going to play a powered forward or center for this team with Christian Wood alongside him. And Olenek in his Rocket debut had a pretty good ball game. But on the season, he's ranked 102 in fantasy basketball. 10 points a game, 6 rebounds, 2.2 assists, a steal a game, 
1.83s a game, 78% from the foul line, and 43% from the field for Olenek. The last couple weeks, 8.2 points a game, 6.2 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 1.5 steals a game, 1.23s a game, 35% from the field, and 85% from the foul line. So Olenek, he was injured a little, and he missed a few games, but now he's back here. And he got traded to Houston. And in his debut, 16 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals, 4 three-pointers, 62% from the field. So that's a good ball game. He played 25 minutes. And Houston, they got to play some guys, in my opinion. And they even won the ball game versus Minnesota. I don't know who's worse, though, Minnesota or Houston in the Western Conference this season. But anyway, Kelly Olynyk. it looks like he's going to have a decent role and play some decent minutes. And he's a player available in 65% of fantasy leagues. And I will go out there and get him. The next center is Daniel Gafford of the Washington Wizards. So the Bulls and Wizards made a minor deal on the trade deadline day. And Daniel Gafford, this might be the opportunity for him to impress and see what he has. Because obviously the centers for Washington this season just haven't impressed at all, in my opinion, since Thomas Bryan went down with the torn ACL. Robin Lopez and Alex Len, they really haven't shown much. They've had a couple games here and there where they've shown flashes. But Daniel Gafford, he's a young ball player. And the Wizards, I think, are going to give him 15, 20 minutes a game or even more to see what he has on the season. He's ranked 252 in fantasy basketball, 5 points a game, 3.4 rebounds, 1.2 blocks a game, 66% from the foul line, and 70% from the field in limited time. And the last couple weeks, the numbers are still pretty decent for him, 6 points a game, 4.8 rebounds, 66% from the foul line, and 82% from the field. But Gafford, in his debut with the Washington Wizards, 13 points, 5 rebounds, and a steal, 3 blocks, and 85% from the field. So he was on fire. I know it was a weak Detroit Piston team that they versed. But hey, he still went out there, and he got the job done. And we'll see the next two games now while the Wizards play back-to-back -back, if his playing time is going to go up more and see if they use him. But right now, I think he's worth the speculative ad in 14-team leagues or deeper, and he's available as well in 84% of fantasy leagues. And the fifth and final center, I would look to add on waves this week, Avika Zubak of the Los Angeles Clippers. So Serge Ibaka, he's still out with his back injury, and he's out once again here tonight in the ball game versus the Milwaukee Bucks. So Zubak on the season... He's ranked 142 in fantasy basketball, 8.6 points a game, 7.2 rebounds, 1.1 assists, 82% from the foul line, and 64% from the field. But the last couple weeks, Zubak, his ranking is in at 43 with 11.7 points a game, 9.1 rebounds, 1.4 assists, 1.7 blocks a game, 85% from the foul line, and a nice 62% from the field to Zubak. The thing with him is he just needed playing time. And now that he's getting it, the 25 to 30 minutes a game, he's really been impressive. And he's definitely helping this Clipper team. And he's helping fantasy owners as well. The Clippers have won five in a row now since Zubox played some extended minutes. And Zubox the last three games, March 24th at the Spurs, 14 points, eight rebounds, two assists, a steal, and a block. March 25th at the Spurs, in that back-to-back, -back, 10 points, 13 rebounds, 5 blocks. And March 27th versus Philly, 7 points, 11 rebounds, and 2 blocks. So Zubak, he's blocking the basketball at a good rate. And he's getting about a double-double each and every game almost. With the 10 to 11 points a game and to 11 or 12 rebounds. So Zubak, he's a good player. And now they unleashed him. And he's available in 51% of fantasy leagues. And he could be a walking double-double for fantasy owners. And he's definitely going to help in the shot block category. So that's a few centers I would look to add on the waiver wire here in week 14 of the fantasy basketball season.